eucalyptus, menthol, tea tree, and camphor. Wow! From Denton Magic, Kung Fu Koala. We're going to build a ladder with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Kind of hitting the ground running right off the bat. We're going to have a shave with a brand new shave soap. I've already done my pre-shave wash. We'll get to that in just a moment. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Yeah, brand new shave soap in the shave den from Mark Denton and Denton Magic. My thanks to Mark for very kindly sending this along and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. This is Kung Fu Koala. My gosh, does this have a kick. It has eucalyptus, menthol, tea tree, and camphor. And boy, will this wake you up in the morning. Absolutely has got a kick. Now, my pre-shave is with the uh, Cube 2.0, the non-mentholated version, because I don't want the menthol from any other pre-shave, say from the Cube 2.0 or Paraso pre-shave, to get in the way of this menthol. And boy, this has got a kick. This will this will wake you up and open up your sciences, no doubt about it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a cold water shave with this. This is the beginning of fall, but it feels like the beginning of summer. Temperatures for the last few days have been in the 80s. So it's been just a couple of bright, sunny, cloudless days. Very, very warm temperatures. So that's why we're doing a cold water shave. Plus, that cold water will really get that menthol going too. And it's got some menthol, you know, right here on their product page. You can get this at uh, the Denton Magic website or at the Razor Company. Right there on the product page, and here it is from the Razor Company right there. I'll let you take a look at that uh, one more time. Right there. I didn't hold it up long enough, okay? Uh, it says right here on the product page, uh, he might look soft and cuddly, but looks can be deceiving. Watch out for the roundhouse kick to the face of cooling menthol. Yes, there is menthol in this shave soap. This is a refreshing scent combination of eucalyptus, menthol, tea tree, and camphor. Yeah, this is going to have quite the kick, and I'm looking forward to it. Perfect on a warm day like today. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to take my Shave Nation lathering bowl right here, and we're going to go ahead and dump that cold water out. And um, Mark Denton of Denton Magic also sent along this really neat soap scoop tool. Get a load of that. Isn't that neat? Okay, we're going to use that to uh, just grab some shave soap. I'm going to get about that much right there, okay? Uh, and I'm going to put that right in the bottom of the Shave Nation shaving bowl. And I'm going to put the cap back on this shave soap. There is a, a cap and an inner cap. And I'm telling you, when you open this up, that inner cap is there. You still get a good jolt of this scent. It is really there. We're going to be using my timeless uh, adjustable brush handle. We've got a Maggard synthetic knot. This is their white knot, uh, 28 millimeter on there. And we're going to go ahead and uh, build this ladder right now. My gosh, this is fantastic. I'm also going to be using my timeless razor bronze razor. That's a nice, mild razor. And we're going to be using a Rapira, uh, Rapira razor blade uh, in there. So I still have to load that up. And uh, Denton Magic Shave Soaps lather very, very nicely. And we're going to go ahead and, as I say, do a cold water shave because it's been warm. It's like the beginning. Of, it feels like the beginning of summer, and it's not. It's, <laughs> it's the beginning of fall. Now this Shave Nation right there, Shave Nation lathering bowl does a nice job. You can just press that soap into the bottom, a little pocket on the bottom of this bowl. And as you're building your lather, uh, that brush passes over that soap that's pressed in the bottom there and just keeps adding to the momentum of 
the ladder being built. And that's what's going on right now. So let me just hold it down here like this. Kind of upright like that so it doesn't overflow too much because I'm holding it at an angle and that tends to allow for that soap to spill over. If I'm holding it like this, it's staying in the bowl rather nicely. And we are getting a nice lather here. And my, yeah, that is, that has got some eucalyptus, menthol, tea tree, and camphor scent, no doubt about it. We also have the mashing aftershave splash for this. And look at what, look at the lather that I'm getting here. My gosh, that, <laughs> we're almost there. We are almost there, my gosh. And I, looks like I've used every bit of shave soap that was pressed into the bottom of this shaving bowl, which is why I think it's starting to get really nice and creamy and yogurty here towards the end of the lather building process. And yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, check. Yeah, look at that. Check that out. Boom, lather, check that out, yes. Oh my gosh, there is so much, look how much I have there. Yeah, that's marvelous, absolutely marvelous. And I'm telling you, that scent, yeah, it definitely does pack a punch. Let me go ahead and uh, get the Cube 2.0. This is the non-mentholated Cube, brand new, first time I'm using it. I usually use the mentholated version. This is the mentholated version. You can see that I've used that quite a bit when I compare the two of them. This time around, non-mentholated version. So let me just wet my face a little bit here. And let's apply the, uh, the non-mentholated cube 2.0 pre-shave and then get this lather, get this lather going here. And you know what? My gosh, I got to, I got to be honest with you. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is, that is some serious menthol eucalyptus being thrown in the air of the shaved in there. My gosh, that's going to wake you up. Man, oh man. Yeah. Okay, I probably could have worked that pre-shave in a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and getting ahead of myself here. We're just going to go ahead and just rub that on a little bit like that. I, I should have rubbed it in a little bit. You know what? I am going to rub it in. Hang on a minute. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> ah, let's get a nice pre-shaved base here. But you know what? It'll show you also how much lather I have. There we go. There we go. All right, that's good. That's what I want. All right. Okay. Still, I got a lot. I got, I still have a lot of lather here. So we're going to go ahead and paint that on. And uh, boy, this is really slick stuff too. I got to be careful holding this lathering bowl, this shave bowl, because it is slick. My gosh, look at that. That's got a kick. That really does. You're definitely going to notice the menthol, the eucalyptus, the tea tree comes through. Yeah, this is this is going to wake you up. This is going to definitely wake you up in the morning. I'm going to wipe my hands off because it is very, very slick. There's some slick, serious slickness going on there. All right. All right, let me get my, uh, my Rapira razor blade. All right, we're gonna set that up there like that. Okay, one more time. Rapira razor blade, right there. All right, let's you get a look at that. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Haven't used these in a while. Oh, and they're double wrapped. I like that. I like that they're double wrapped. Love that. Okay, so let me just set that down. Here's my timeless bronze razor. Nice, mild shaver. Beautiful, beautiful material. Uh, wonderfully, wonderfully machined. 
and created and manufactured. The folks at Timeless Razor just do an exceptional job in manufacturing their razors. Uh, here's the blade. There is the cap. Goes in there like that. There is the uh, the base plate. Yeah, let's turn around like that. Keep all the labeling in the, <laughs> in the same direction. And there is the handle. Everything lines up so nicely, so beautifully. Uh, that is a, a tab and slot configuration inside the razor head. And you can just feel everything, the blade and everything just seating precisely. Very, very nice. There's the blade balance and alignment spot on. Let's just uh, wet this under some water. The uh, eucalyptus, the camphor, the tea tree, I can really feel kicking into my face. It really is. <laughs> yeah, this is going to wake you up. This will, it really is stimulating, invigorating. That's the word. Those are the words I'm looking for. All right. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. I've got one day's one day's worth of beard growth. Nice mild shave. Nice mild shave. That's what I prefer. Smooth and comfortable. A lot of nice cushion. Some really wonderful glide and slickness. No tugging, no pulling, none of those little bites that you might get on the bottom of your neck as you're completing that shaving stroke. Has that ever happened to you? Sometimes you get like a little bite. No, not so with this. Really does a nice job of getting up underneath the nose. Probably got about a good 85 to 90 percent there. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. I can feel that menthol kicking in. The cold water is going to accentuate a little bit, which is why I'm doing a cold water shave. Again, been warm last few days. Cold water rinse. I want to make sure to keep my eyes closed too when I'm rinsing off because there's a lot of there's a lot of menthol here. There is. There is a lot of menthol. And I would suspect that if you were to use this shave soap, you don't have to use any other mentholated pre-shave. As a matter of fact, I would recommend you don't use a mentholated pre-shave first time around. Just use Use a pre-shave, but get something that is just like, like I have. Non-mentholate is what I'm saying. And again, I've got plenty here. Ooh, don't want to, don't, it's, it's going to slip out. i got plenty here. Let me show you the, scrape that off the brush there. Look at that. See how much I have? I got plenty to get the job done. And probably, in looking at it, You know, probably if I hadn't done that rinse, I'd probably have enough for like maybe four passes. Looks like I'm going to have enough for three passes here with what's left. So yeah, it made uh, heaps and heaps of lather. Did a nice job. And again, a nice, wonderful coating. And uh, again, boy, there's some slickness there. I got to definitely wipe my hands off here. I'm glad I have the extra towel here. There is some slickness there. No doubt about it. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. That's really nice. Wow, that's wonderful. That first pass really knocked down a lot of the beard. 
Second pass is, is like cleaning up. I think this is my money pass. I think with one day's worth of beard growth, the razor and blade combination, but because of the shape up, I think it's going to be a two pass shape. We'll see. We'll see. Just so nice and smooth and comfortable. Terrific. Terrific. Really terrific. A lot of nice slickness to where I can get really kind of persnickety, kind of finicky with getting rid of shaving away those little bits there. Now, I mean, really nice slickness to allow me to do that. That's terrific, really. I mean, again, no tugging, no pulling. I can really, I can really be, you know, get, get, get in there, you know, be like a detail shaver, you know, just <laughs> really take care of those little bits. I can, I, I tend to get, um, you know, I tend to really, like I say, get finicky with that and really want to pay attention to the detail of getting rid of that. But the shave soap, point is the shave soap has the slickness to accommodate me for that. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, this shave is done. No kidding. This shave is done. And let me show you before I do my final rinse here. Let me just show you. Let me just show you how much lather I still have here. Look at that. Look at that. We'll show it to you again, but I've got plenty of lather to do a third pass, but no need to do a third pass. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, this, this shave is done. A really nice, close, smooth, comfortable shave. And the cold water is really giving me a great, great menthol kick. No kidding. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Again, a lot of slickness there. Well, I got a towel down below. Hang on one minute. Let me get it for you. Okay, let me get it. Get it for me. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's a... And that menthol is just... That is just a bonus. Boy, that is nice. This has more kick than Parasso Green. I would say it has more kick than margaritas in the Arctic. It really does. It, it has a lot. I would say it's right up there with it. It's, uh, boy, it's given margaritas in the Arctic a run for its money. It's right up there with awesome sauce. It's, I think it's beyond Parasso to be honest, Parasso Green to be honest with you. Yeah, it's it's really, really very, very good. Here's my Allen block from Phoenix Shaving, the no slip grip, and the dry dock system. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. The menthol is just, it's it's there. It really, wow, what a great feeling. Yeah, that's why I say don't use a menthol pre-shave with this because I think it'll be it'll be too much. And we'll talk about that after I wrap up the shave. All right. Gonna run us under some cold water. Here we go. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. Oh yeah, that's that's boy, that's got some kick there too. Wow. <laughs> nice bracing. Uh-huh. Boy, that's nice. Boy, that really again, very stimulating because of that eucalyptus menthol tea tree. Yeah, boy, oh boy. There's no, 
There's no zinging, there's no stinging, but there really is this really nice bracing. There's there's like a, like I say, an invigorating, very stimulating sensation from the alum block uh, hitting the skin this time around, unlike other shave soaps. Really, really terrific. All right, there's the uh, no slip grip, the dry dock. This is the solid alum block from Phoenix Shaving that I'm using. This is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. All right, we're going to put that in there like that. And again, we're going to show you the uh, the shave soap. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. My goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Wonderful lather. Absolutely fantastic lather. Beautiful slickness. And you saw I'm wiping off my hands because of this uh, shave soap, how slick it is. Absolutely fantastic. And a nice, smooth, comfortable shave. Here is the... Um, the uh, Kung Fu Koala Aftershave Splash. And again, both of these are in space-saving containers. You've got about a two and a half ounce jar here of the Kung Fu Koala Shave Soap uh, and about a two ounce bottle of, uh, yeah, two ounce bottle. Can you see that on the bottom right there in the middle? A two ounce bottle of Aftershave Splash. So it has a nice restrictor there and a really a good way to go. So for the price of this shave soap, you get a splash and a shave soap for the same price you get for most shave soaps alone. So it's a really nice deal. And good for the shave den, for space saving considerations, and also great for travel. So here we go. We're going to, yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's some good there. Okay, we're going to let that air out a little bit like that. The Jimmy V method of letting that alcohol kind of evaporate and then... Yeah, <laughs> that's terrific. That really is. And that's got a kick too. Some aftershaves that have the uh, menthol or the spike nar diver down comes to mind. You'll get a little tearing in your eyes after you apply it. And that won't last very long. Uh, but it gives you a great, great exuberant feeling on the skin. Really wakes you up. But again, you'll get a, you might get a little bit of tearing in your eyes, and yeah, I did. I, I've got a little bit of that going on right now because you've got eucalyptus, menthol, tea tree, and camphor all combined to give you that really, really nice, nice kick. Great, great shave. This really has a, a great, great kick. It is, it is beyond Parasso Green. It's right up there with margaritas in the Arctic and uh, awesome sauce. Really, some of you might uh, up there. Some of you out there might think that's even a little more so than those those last two I named. Uh, you know what? Your mileage may vary on that, but yeah, it's got a nice, nice kick to it. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? Let's um, uh, even though I clap my hands, I'm going to put a little bit of Mysterium Serum on top like this, and we'll just add a couple of drops to uh, to that. Just a couple of drops like that. Okay, yeah kind of scented balm. Yeah, <laughs> I can feel that on the scalp too. Man, that's that's invigorating. That is absolutely wonderful. I hope Mark Denton makes a balm uh, to go with the aftershave and the shave soap. That would be absolutely wonderful. I think I, I would I would definitely use that. This was uh, this was a really, really wonderful, wonderful shave and the shave soap. Again, eucalyptus menthol Tea tree and camphor. It has that. It has a really, really great invigorating kick. But look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Uh, absolutely did a great, great job. Nice slickness. A lot of slickness. Nice glide. Nice cushion. Provided a lot of protection. But it's got that wake you up in the morning kick that will really help get your day going. Uh, yeah, it's an eye opener. No doubt about it. Uh, my thanks to uh, Mark Denton at Denton Magic for very, very kindly sending along Kung Fu Koala and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. Mark, thank you very, very much. We'll have links below to where you can get this online. Razor Company and directly from Denton Magic. So check it out, Kung Fu Koala. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers 
that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shaves. So they also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Look at that aftershave right there so you can see it. I'll see you again real soon.